Division I college wrestlers here, I strongly suggest you grab one and get a chance. Okay? Because these guys are going to be around here for a little bit. All right? so grab these guys and see what it feels like. How much hand fighting do you guys do in college? Quite a bit. How much position do you have to have? Huh? Near perfect position. Near perfect position. Okay, wrestling is position. That's what it is. You can have the best flying bondini in the world. Okay, but if you don't get in position to hit the flying bondini, you won't get it on. I don't have a very good one. I can't show it. Cam, Cam's got a fabulous flying bondini. Okay, and Bill too. But I don't have. But anyhow, I can have a great single. I can have a great barrel roll. They don't. Does it matter if I don't have position? All right. Now we're going to work toward position. So. If I have, um, okay, say I got Trey. Okay, if the guy pushes back in me, we're going to hand fight, we're going to work to four different positions right now. One is just inside control. Both my arms are inside his, and I can go from there, okay? I'm going to get around his head here. Okay, I got inside control, I'm good to go, okay? The next position is going to be... And, and this is crazy, like even your outside control, you know, if you bind an elbow, if you end up outside and you bind an elbow and you pull it here, that's okay too, okay? See what I'm doing to his hand? I'm taking his hand back there. That hand's ineffective right now, okay? It's behind my arm. Now, if he starts to pull it, that's a little different, okay? If he starts to pull, that's a little different, all right? That's one position. If you're stuck on the outside, he gets really good inside control on you, you're stuck on the outside, try not to roll in, okay? When you roll in, Okay, you're kind of giving him what he wants, because look what my hand's doing. It's rolling, and it's going out. You see that? When you roll, you can get caught there. You can get caught in a high C. So if a guy gets inside position on me, what I usually do is I drop my elbow toward me. I just bring my hand back down like this. I just bring it down right here. Okay, bring it down, and then back up inside. Bring it down, back up inside the arm. Okay, and I'm always trying to take the heel of my hand on the inside of his shoulder. Inside of his shoulder right there. Okay, it's going to be hard for him to take me down. I got my, the heel of my hand right on the inside of his shoulder, in front of his shoulder. Okay, that's one position. Another one, if the guy starts to push and lean, he gets his butt back behind him and he's leaning, I have no problem with a head trap. Trap, put his head right in your chest. Now, if you notice, we, I move my feet, I force Trey to move. I move. See that? I can bring him down on the mat if I want. All right? Okay, but if Trey backs away, cool where my arms are. All right, I'm in a stance. I'm in a stance. I'm always in a stance. Okay? Another one, which is an excellent position, is your underhook. Okay? You could come out. Okay? You could come out here. Boom. Bang the head. Bang the head. Hook. Okay? You get your underhook. Try to wrap your pinky over the shoulder. That's what I like to do. Wrap a pinky over the shoulder. Take my own shoulder and put it up in my ear. Here. Okay? I'm trying not to let his arm get out. So I pinch. I'm pinching his arm in here with my shoulder and my hand. Right here, I'm pinching in here. Also, getting head position, right here. Okay, the other one, which I don't think enough guys do, is the two-on-one. If he reaches with this hand, and I catch right here, if I can catch, okay, I'm just gonna rotate around and I'm just gonna pull it in front. Baby, pop that over, pop, pop, here. Okay, I like to go on my wrist, and I have position now. Now I have position. All of these moves I have position on, and we're going to get a little more in depth as the week goes on, all right? Because you, you don't want to do a head trap like this, okay? Yeah, I got his head, but look, see what he did? See where his head is? You don't want his head out there, okay? Here. Okay, underhook, good, but if I don't have head position and I'm wrestling the wrong guy, the guy that might possess a fireman's carry, he's going to get it. Okay, he's going to get a fireman's carry. So all these little things, get head position, you get your two-on-one, rotate, get your head around his, you get a head trap, keep his head trapped underneath your chest, short arms, all those little things. Okay, we're going to go out, we're going to look for inside control, head trap, underhook, or two-on-one. All right, that's what we're doing. It's live, no shots. Okay, live hand fighting. One, two.